what's going on guys welcome back to my youtube page um i'm about to give you all some information update on one of my trucks this is a 2014 kentwood t680 and i'm having some problems with it i'm having the d-ray issue and it's happened to the point where it got my engine light well the stop engine light coming on and beeping the craziest thing though after doing all the work that I've done to it um I think it's a computer issue computer issue because when I turn my truck on as I turn my truck on you'll see what's going on that's all your lights you see I have an engine light on and a stop engine but I have no codes and after a second, it's gonna pop up, stop engine immediately. You can see my temperature is up high. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start the truck now. As you can hear the beeping, my temperature is still the same place. My fuel went, my oil went up. I'm about to gas it. As you can see my voltage gauge is up, I have fuel, I have DF, and my air pressure is up, but it's telling me I need to start the engine immediately. Um, I haven't been running the truck um, for like the past hour, I'm going to leave it sit for the remaining of the day and see what's going on hopefully I'm gonna try to disconnect the on the battery terminal and reconnect it and see if that clears the engine code or whatever code is going on right there but as you can see you only have one reason why it's saying stop engine immediately but for what reason I'm not sure. So I pulled over and I stopped the engine. I'll check on it earlier. I see what's I'll check on it later and see what's going on. Got um this I've gotten this sensor fix. I've also um got a new I don't even have to go so I also got a new reservoir and sensor. As you can see, I had to unplug the sensor right there because it kept popping, popping up right here. Yeah, and then I could show you all some of the work that I paid for in the last um. As you can see right here. <laughs> See right there. And I end up paying that. And after paying that, it, it ran for um, it ran for probably like a hundred, hundred and fifty miles without getting any major problems. <coughs> I also had some tires done. It's in the last month. <coughs> also has some trailer tires done. Also. to Border International and they said this was the problem and they basically fixed the 
coolant reservoir and the chain to speed sensor. And as soon as I paid and left the dealer, I end up with the same problem. So now I'm just trying to get back so I can swap trucks. So I think I'm gonna continue driving this truck and just keep an eye on it and see what's going on. Stop every few hours, check it, I just start to check the oil, make sure that everything was good with it. Um again, um if you are having problems with your trucks, hopefully this could give you all some idea of what's going on or what to look for. If um I was able to help some of y'all with any information pertaining to D weight or 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 the red um stop engine light um that would be a that would be a good feeling. Be safe on the road. Like, comment, subscribe. Enjoy your day.